Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ademola Badmos. So in this video, we'll be trying the iOS out. So I want to make some modifications to the iOS before we start. So I would like to use instead of a iPhone instead of iPhone 16 Pro, I will use where's the configuration again? I want to use iPhone 16 Pro Max. Yeah. Let's just use the bigger one not for any reason i just want to use it so i'm going to go ahead and clear this and all we just need to do now is um run this remember that the only reason i'm doing this is because i did not install webdriver io globally so that's why i need to use an npx so i'm going to hit on enter and <clears throat> i expect it to launch the simulator for me since I already specified that I want to use an iPhone 16 Pro Max. Okay. Yeah. That's an iPhone 16 Pro Max. And it's also important to mm, mention that uh, if you follow this, please correct this. I made a mistake here. I added S to it and that is wrong. It's required, not requires. So it's going to cause problems. So let's wait for this to run. I don't want the video to be too long. So I'm going to pause while iOS takes its time to launch the simulator. Once the simulator is launched, I will continue the video. So I'm going to pause it now. It has launched the app now, so we can continue to observe from here and see what happens after that. So it is installing the app as you can see. So let's see if it runs the app immediately or maybe we will need to get some things done. Um, usually what I experience with iOS is that uh, it might fail on the first try because of the time it has taken to launch the app, which is quite long. And um, usually when I try it again, it works well. Because by now it's getting the app there, but I can't see the web driver agent yet. And if that's going to take another time, it will probably fail. So it's okay if you try on the first try with an iOS app and it fails. If you do it again, it should pass. Oh, I guess I'm lucky today. Web driver agent is here. So a reinstallation would happen now and uh, we will get to see it work. So the moment of truth is close. Um, maybe I should pause again so we don't waste time on the video. Oh, I guess I can keep my mouth shut. So test is starting and let's see what happens. Yep. It has done what's supposed to do and everything has passed. So that brings us to the end of this video. And I think the end of everything, the way you report still remains the same. Nothing changes. You just go into your test file, add in the allow that you wanted there, that you want there, then it would do the rest for you. Thank you for getting this far with me. See you in another series when I 